Welcome back, Sports and Discourse. I'm Dante Durham, along with Eric Sharkey. You know, during today's show, uh, college football is coming up, so we definitely want to talk about the best conference in college football. And if you're on my E, I like to start this one off. And before I even start, I have to put this out there. I'm a Big Ten fan. Actually, I'm not a Big Ten fan. I'm an Ohio State fan. And since they play in the Big Ten, obviously during bowl season, I have to root for the, for the Big Ten. But I think when you look at the best conference in college football, and it's been proven throughout the past few years, and I think even going into this year, it will repeat itself, the SEC is top dog. Look at Florida, look at LSU, Alabama. These are, these are teams that just reload. I have even mentioned Georgia. You know what I'm saying? But when you look at the speed, when you look at the size, when you look at the strength down there, I think it's not even debatable the SEC top conference of college football. And that's interesting um, because I would debate that. <laughs> and, you know, you took – first you said, you know, the past couple years. So, okay, I took a more um, historical approach. Okay. You know, look, historically – what's the best conference because you know there's ups and downs everybody had their ups and downs so i wanted to look at the big picture and so we got a couple numbers all right a couple categories is what i took into consideration uh, overall record historically top 25 teams teams in the top 25 teams in the top 50 uh, number of national titles and number of heisman trophy winners along with location finally all right so let's look at what the numbers say here um, Start with uh, national titles. We have, looking at the conferences, the Big Ten actually has 22 national titles uh, versus the Big 12 would be next with 20 national titles. And then that would, uh, that would follow by SEC with 19 national titles. And I will say this, the Ivy League actually has 48 national titles, uh, 32 of theirs were won between 1869 and 1900. Which is why it's historical numbers, but anyway. <laughs> right, 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 no doubt, no doubt. But so we gotta give them yeah, props, yeah, all right? Yeah, true, right, because Princeton, Princeton, Princeton was winning for a while. <laughs> Princeton and Harvard were, you know, doing a the thing. There were only three teams, maybe. But, <laughs> but they was top dog every year. Right, right that's right, exactly. Because, you know, since you mentioned it, I think the one year, like, Princeton was like one and oh. <laughs> We are the champions. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, um, Heisman Trophy winners. Uh, the Big Ten had 15 Heisman Trophy winners. I am a Big Ten fan. Big 12, 15 Heisman Trophy winners. Then that would be followed by, and this would be independence. They actually would be, you know, um, Army, the, 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 the. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. <laughs> right. Uh, the Independents had 12 actually Heisman Trophy winners. And then we're going to take into the overall record. Yep. And, and this, I got some information here. This is the uh, top 25 and top 50. So number of teams that they had with the overall record that were in the top 25 and number of teams that they had with the overall record in the top 50. So I kind of combined them together. But... Um, who came out on top of that one? We've got the SEC with uh, 14 teams, all right? Um, we'll combine when we look at both numbers. So then, when followed by the Big 12, then the Big 10, then the ACC, Pac 10, and Big East. And then finally, location. And that, this is kind of a, a personal, more personal opinion and not so many numbers or, you know, things involved. Uh, and when I, when I talk about location, I'm thinking, um, the environment kind of nurtures a, an attitude about the team. You know, your, your team takes on a certain persona depending on, you know, the location. Um, the, the Big Ten's a little more rugged, supposedly, where maybe the SEC is supposed to be the speed conference. And, you know, the Big 12 has the, the big corn fed, the big Husky guys with, you know, Texas and, and the Nebraska's. And the Pac 10 is more speed also out yeah, there. with the west yeah, coast yeah. you know wide open yeah. type situation carefree so um when i said location I, those are things i was thinking about and i said the big 10 i gave the first the heads up for location number one spot yeah. um then the big 12 then followed by the sec um 
So, you know, in my opinion, if I were choosing the, the best conference in college football, it would have to be the Big Ten. On the flip side, I'll just address something that you had mentioned about the location. I think that it would be a different story come bowl season if these games weren't always played in the prettiest or in the best environment imaginable. You know, it would be different if for a bowl game, instead of sending Ohio State down to LSU or down to wherever, if you would bring them up north during January and have them playing in some snow, it would be interesting to see how those games would turn out at that time. You know, but um, uh, I'm going with the SEC. You're going with the Big Ten. Who are you going with? Sports and Discourse.